to open it? I do. I you want do? to open it so you bad. You want to open it so bad? Oh my God, it's right. so bad. Let, let's go to a Tier 1 stadium and find out what's inside. Yeah, let's go. Ah! <laughs> All right, we're at Tier 1 stadium. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Can you believe it, Dave? Ted, I've told you many, many times, this isn't Tier 1 stadium. It's oh. Tier 1 cards and games in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, man. The, this feels like a horribly staged joke. Uh, ah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel it went very well. <laughs> Thank you so much. But we're live. Um, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. We're here oh, for some man, Blood Bowl. I am so pumped. How long has it been, Dave? Since I played Blood Bowl? Uh, Not played, but like, oh, how long has it been since like they put out an official release? Oh my god. For Blood Bowl. I, it, honestly, it feels like an official release hasn't been done until since the way early, early... 90s? Uh, mid, mid 90s? You probably, think so? Probably about 94, 95, somewhere in there. I, oh, honestly, wow. I, I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but I am so excited. It's been a, so cool. they did a magazine for a while, right? Like. Blood Bowl magazine. Uh, I have still have every issue. It's fantastic. Go back and read through it every once in a while. Cry a little bit. Because, oh, you know, Jane Austen wrote it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Tier One graciously allowed us to open up their demo copy. The the rep sent it in, uh, and hopefully they're going to be running some demo games and probably even a league. They got some really sweet foam fingers. There's some flags. I think we probably had them in the background earlier. We did. I. I, I and from what I understand, a really nice cheerleader bikini that one of the guys here is going to be wearing for the league. I was told that uh, that it would be on one of the guys, so okay. I'm excited about that and, <laughs> and also horrified at the same time. But th they wouldn't show it to us, so don't worry. I don't think you'll ever have to see that, guys. <laughs> All right, so what we have here. That is, Did that sell a frame or what? Yeah, dude, I was sold when I read it the yeah? first time. Somebody, no, the, the hands didn't do it for no, you? No, no, no. Okay. When they leaked this like eight months ago, I yeah? went, that's it. I'm quitting my job. I'm going to line up outside of a GW store or, or even tier one and just wait uh -huh. until Jean tells me to go home or <laughs> tells me that she's got Blood Bowl in. Good thing you have an employed wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a good you thing. You can quit really at any is. point. So you want to do it or how about, all you right, know what? you get one side, I get the other side. How's your Coke finger? <sighs> <laughs> ah, sorry, couldn't do it. I'm good. Couldn't wait. Oh, ah, so off of you. I'm shaking right now. <laughs> yeah. I just you have no idea. Oh man. Okay, so oh. cellophane. This is remember like magic back in the day. You'd have to smell the first pack. Maybe you would have smell the first pack. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like part of it. Was like they had like an aphrodisiac inside of it. But anyway, we're not here to talk oh, about that. I wanted to dun dun dun, oh. dun dun. It's too late now. Oh, Leave that off. <laughs> man, oh. this is kind of fun. Like. I, when we first got the game, back when we were kids, I think it was like you had two different colors, didn't you? I think there was like red and blue or something, you, right? With like yeah, you, the, the, the plastic, the, the old human and orc team plastics were absolutely atrocious. Yeah. Um, they, <laughs> but they were they were single colored. In fact, uh -huh. I, I remember my first Blood Bowl copy came from uh, selling a bunch of magazines. It was it was one of those things where you saw an, an ad in uh -huh. the newspaper like, take this job, go sell go sell gift wrap to people and earn points. Oh, and you okay. can use those points to buy something. It was like Ranger Rick It or was something. garbage <laughs> stuff, except for this one thing of Blood Bowl. I knew nothing about, nothing about GW uh -huh. at all. And I said, I don't know what that is, but it's football, and I like that, and I want to play it. And so I sold the most ever gift wrap crappy what? stuff to old people in my neighborhood. Just because. And got the copy of Blood Bowl. All right, so you ready for this? I'm going to flip this over. So what we have here, of course, Plastic is gray plastic, but <gasps> do you know what this is? <gasps> uh, oh my gosh! So this is the new rangefinder. Okay, you kit counters. You oh, what the rangefinder? Yes, How? it's so awesome. So it's like a snap together range or a ruler, right? Yeah, GW is amazing with their snap together stuff they're doing. Uh -huh. it's, it's their <laughs> blue is gone. Blue is out. Oh, okay. There's a lot of people who are going to be very disappointed about that. That's crazy cool. So it's like Legos. I think they hooked up with, uh, went to Denmark and learned a thing or two. <laughs> they might have. I don't know. What are Legos? So here we have the sideline kick, right? Is that so, what that was? Yeah. When you get knocked out of bounds or the ball gets knocked out of bounds, you place this on one of the squares mm -hmm. uh, and then roll a d6, whatever it is. That's the way the ball comes bouncing back in or uh, the player who knocked off the pitch, which is usually my MO. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I love it. I mean, back in the day, it was uh, clear plastic with like red and black, right? It was like two um, colors. Not even the first gen, it wasn't. You just was you it? had it a like tiny, you had like a stick. It was a stick oh, that you okay. used. It was terrible. Oh wow! I guess I didn't get into the first gen. I and you had to second rocks instead of dice. It was horrible. <laughs> and you had to walk uphill every time you went to every your time team. you went to uh, yeah <laughs> every time snow. you went to play. It was through the snow both ways uphill. <laughs> a whole bunch of grots trying to nibble oh. on your knees. Oh Half my gosh! The worst. I, I heard about that. <laughs> I'm too young to remember that. I've got a That's... worst case. I've got a bad case of halflings. <laughs> I can't come into work today. So what do you think? So this is probably, I'm guessing, like the modifiers, right? Like Correct. one, You've two, got, three, uh, four. Short, uh, medium, 
long and bomb. And okay. bomb, of course, bomb. you don't. Uh, 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 you know, yeah. <laughs> may as well just say, let's just drop the ball right here next to me because that's what was going to happen. Every time. <laughs> that was like your hail mary. Yeah. I hope I get it. <laughs> Oh, I, I I dig it, man. This is kind of cool. The, I really especially like this one, like the the helmet and everything. I don't it's, know. It's a really nice aesthetic. Everything. I, I I just get so excited seeing this. I mean, it just it's gorgeous. The the plastic stuff when you got it when the that edition came out in '93 or '94, whenever mm -hmm. it actually came out, uh, it, it was you know it was nice. Yeah. And sure. it was better, like five thousand times better than the previous edition. Oh. But it, it it takes it's effectively the same thing as you know looking. This is. I've got a lump of clay now instead of a gorgeous, <laughs> a, a, a gorgeous uh, statue of David. You know, it's, that's a difference of the two. In of you, opinion. they made statues of you. Well, yeah, I'm really? gorgeous. <laughs> I needed the money in college. Too. Oh wow! So like Melania. Um, so now we have some orgs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, Whoa. These are gorgeous. I just I can't even. So, to, okay, so I, I'm, I'm looking at here. We have a fist. What would that, would that be a counter, perhaps? Uh, I believe that's actually your uh, turn counter. Okay. Uh, okay I could no. be wrong, but nobody really knows exactly what it is who <laughs> hasn't read the rulebook yet, and it's still beneath all this other stuff, so we don't know. <laughs> um, if only we had reshrunk it. <laughs> you know, if only so, we had. So now, is that the same? It looks like it might be the same sprue. Um, Are it, you getting that not, impression, too? So I see it's counter, not, counter. Well, see, it's not. Turn counter, turn oh, counter, yeah, ball, ball. It sprue. looks like the same sprue. Like, there's doubles of the same one. It looks like the... It's slightly different. I mean, you've got, well, there? I guess you're, I guess yeah. we're about the same here. Um, I know that some of the heads are, you get some slightly different heads mm -hmm. in some ways. I've seen different models put together in different ways. Um, it's just. So, okay, let's go ahead and count legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then heads. One, two, three, four, five, Oh, there's got to be a six one around here I was going to say, I hope there's another head here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> um, okay, well, it's orcs, so they'll probably sew it on later. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so you're looking at 12 guys total, it looks mm -hmm. like, to start. Yeah, for, at least for the orcs. Um, now, a team is what, 11 to 16? Um, a but you only team have... is 1 to 16, actually. Oh, really? Okay. No, wait, uh, 1, 2, 3. You have to have five, six guys on the line of feet, on, on, okay. the, on the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. And other than that, you're, you're good. Six, maybe seven. Okay. So seven. Seven to 16. Okay. So. Cool. So I, I'm seeing here you have a ball. This is, oh, this there's a peg on this ball. I, um, so I bet this is, I heard something about uh, the the bases having slots so you can put the ball on there and it'd hold because I remember I mean, if we only we got into the bases yeah. before having well, this discussion. We'll, we'll just have yeah, the speculation no, that, that and then we can uh, correct ourselves in a trollish manner on the comment section. Well, like, Fair oh, enough. those guys don't know anything. Fair Wait, enough. that was us. So we also have a ball. <laughs> Look at those idiots. <laughs> and we have the coin. So it looks like we got work on one side and blood bowl on the other. And, and then we have the Roy Yeah, they've got ball. different coins on different sides. And I, th I think, so uh, this the fist looks like it's it's potentially either a uh, a reroll counter or a turn counter. Okay. For your, so to, so you can avoid your illegal procedure. Cool. Um, or and the, the coin could be the, for a coin flip. But why there's two of them though is a little because there's a coin toss. They probably just like repli yeah, replicate. Yeah, I guess so every I'm, team might have a coin. So I bet if you got the dwarf team, it'd probably have. I'm a dwarf I'm, I'm betting. Like that. You know that uh, when you go out and buy the individual teams to put together your team, yeah, um, you you get a specific set. You won't get duplicated stuff like this. Okay, but yeah, that's just speculation. Unless <laughs> unless uh, unless Jean happens to get the Skaven in early and lets us open them up. <coughs> I don't know. Really uh, she can't sure. hear us. She can't hear us. <laughs> so anyway, Jean said she was getting the Skaven in early and she was going to let us open. And it she up. told us that it only comes with one coin. Yeah, and one not coin. Two. Yeah, she she's seen it. <laughs> one coin. Um, if you don't... Two bikinis though. So get in on that. Escape we just made up a whole bunch of stuff. So, so this is kind of neat. I, I definitely like the new aesthetic. Like before, it had like a really like streamlined, like the old school like '80s '90s orcs. You know, it's funny so that now you we have the that, Brian Ted. Nelson um, style orc. I, I brought along an orc ooh, to compare ooh. to the orcs. I would have brought along a human, but I don't have any. So oh, okay. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know if the viewers at home. And honestly, I don't care. I, I painted this when I was probably uh, 13 years old. This, of course, is okay. the ill-fated orc. Uh, kicker. Every team used to need a kicker, which was the dumbest thing on the face oh. of the planet. Oh, wow. um, and after they stopped needing kickers, I went, what am I going to do with my kickers? So I, of course, painted them like a ref. So oh, cool. I, I see if we can do the best case scenario here to, to put this next to go. some guy. Um, quite a bit smaller and yeah. very, very less uh, But it was the old school orc. They were a little bit weedy. So, like, 
now we have the Brian Nelson orcs. Number two. And I, I love like the the scraps of metal, the scrap play. Like you definitely have like that the new aesthetic. It, it has. It yeah. didn't go. It didn't look Very, like it go, went like too Sigmar ish. What is like, it? Well, it, they do to me look vi the um, more. What are they? Oryx and Sigmar. I think that's okay. what they're called. The the yeah, the guys right. that ride the awesome dragon model. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. Oh man, that's beautiful. Yeah. It, like, Available it kind of, at tier one. <laughs> it, to me, it seems like it's like something in between. So there's, um, I mean, I'm definitely seeing like the the way they do the scraps. It has like some similarities there. It still has some like 40k element to it, like some of the way that they did the skulls and stuff. Um, I, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it kind of does. I mean, oh, I, but I don't, I don't see. Dave, do you know what I see? There's a tongue <laughs> sticking out of that <laughs> neck. That is awesome. I don't know. I always like the, the zombie with like the jaw missing and like the tongue just <laughs> dropping down. That's true. That's true. That's so so true. we can do some zombie orc theme. <laughs> so, so the orcs look great. Um, let's move on to the, the the dudes. I want to call them marines, but I play too much 40k. You know, I just it's... so here we have. I'm I'm seeing uh, two sets of ball. <laughs> so there's a uh, two footballs. Uh, two sets of footballs. There we yes. go. Uh, and trophy. In fact, I'm actually no, trophy, I'm actually seeing heads. more ball. I, I I feel like there's more balls than on the orcs group. Um, because I've got so one, two, three. That uh, I, can see I, I have one right here that's free, uh, uh, and then we free. have like one that's a peg. Uh, peg. Um, oh, two. No, you're right. Nope, there's two. Okay, there's so, two. Yeah. So. Oh gosh, I didn't notice that. That's a uh, that's actually a squig. <laughs> Is a it ball squig? Yeah, because I guess I guess they have um, different balls now. That they, like have oh. special rules and whatnot. Oh that I wow. Um, you know, haven't gotten to the rule book yet. I, yeah. I hope that someday I will make it that far <laughs> in a box, but I probably won't. We'll be kicked out of here before they allow us to look at the rule book. That's probably very true. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of, so I'm seeing we have like this. Uh, are there rules for that for those claws? Do you think? You know what? So they, I don't think I played the last edition. Honestly, so they're they're probably French. just aesthetic. Okay. Um, or blitzers, maybe. Yeah, they. they I can probably see that as like. A, I think they're blitzers. Blitzer. Um, either that or linemen. You're looking at. Uh, so looking at these guys, you're going to end up with it, the two blitzers, two catchers, two throwers. So I'm seeing a catcher, a catcher and a here, thrower. thrower. Um, so big, big claws have to be. There's two two sets of big claws. We uh -huh. have we have identical screws again. So, yeah. Um, but then these guys. So these these two are different. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. I wonder yeah, if they're, the they're they're these guys are all just a little different. I don't. Yeah. I actually don't know what. Probably end up putting a kitty cat or something on here. All right, so um, now we have some uh, some bases. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna answer that question about, about wall goes. Because I'm seeing uh, the little holes. Oh. All right, let's just bust this open. Um, tear into it. It's like a kitty cat. So this is the 32 millimeter base. Yep. So the, large that size. New, large size. And this is a slot has base. The and it's, yeah, that's strange for them. They, they seem to have gone away from slot bases uh -huh. altogether. I'm kind of surprised that they went back to that. But I, th I think it, I, again, stems from them going with the whole, uh, this game is designed more for uh, for everybody, but at the same time, they want to make it available, yeah. uh, usable by younger people who are not as adept at assembling miniatures. It's better at snap. OK, so snap, snap it. Yeah. And then we have the hole there, and I bet that does line up to the, the yeah. ball. So oh, yeah. instead of having it like jumble off the, <laughs> the base. Oh, yeah. Um, I bet you. I, I bet. If, do you have your old ruler on you? I bet you this ruler is probably just slightly bigger it, to accommodate uh, I, a larger base. I actually do not have my old ruler. Okay. Um, I left it in the same house you left your dark elf. <laughs> the black hole. Um, uh, okay. So that's that's pretty neat. Um, the larger base size. So that might mean that uh, the the sizes are scaled up. It could mean that they do. That is actually something that they mentioned they were doing. They were going larger because it looks better in the grand scheme of things. You're oh. able to get a slightly larger miniature with more detail uh -huh. um, and a little that, bit easier to move That's around. good because I remember when we were kids and we were making uh, boards out of foam, I screwed up my uh, calculations and made it an oversized board. So if I go back in time, I can use that board that that's I threw true. away. You could. <laughs> um, those were good boards. <laughs> Eight-sided dice, ten-sided dice. Uh, so we're starting to use more of the, because I don't remember there being 10-sided and 8-sided. 12-sided? Were there? Um, I don't see a 12-sided here, but. I see a 12 that, right there. Well, yeah, but that's also, that's a 20, that's a 10. Oh, what? 11, 12, you, that's crazy. How so, would you have a 12-sided that it's just a 16, ends a 10? It's a 16-sided dice. Is it a 16? It, yeah, there's 16 right there. Bananas, bro. Um, that has to probably 
Yeah, wow. Right, per team. Per team. Right. My guess would be per team then. Yeah. If that's... you have like a random illness or random something or other. Yeah, something random just, happens to it. Because you can only have 16 guys. Yeah, honestly, I bet that's I've never it. seen a 16-sided die before. That's, <laughs> that's strange. bizarre. It looks just like a 10-sided. But <laughs> then we have the 8. Um, I remember, no, actually there was an 8-sided die. There was an 8-sided die. It was, um, you rolled on one of the tables that, oh, okay. uh, to get that, that result. Oh, what it was. Um, good stuff. So now it that... looks like this is the same dice concept as before. So you have the, you got screwed up. That's the, oh, that's the that, block. That is block with dodge. Mm -hmm. uh, means if you have dodge, you don't get knocked down. You just get shoved back like, eh. <laughs> that was push, Stop. right? That is push. It's the same thing as block with dodge. That's, oh, that's knock your opponent down. That is knock them down, and they're probably dead if they're playing me. It's that's fine. a oops. That is, I have fallen, and I have landed on my keys. <laughs> the, uh, and then on the other one, which is, hey, we're both going down. Aw, teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the regular new, ass dies? Uh, well, you need... Um, so that's uh, a standard GW there. They're replacing the sixes with uh, awesome, cool little oh, pictures. Oh, cool. Okay. That weights them heavily so that when you roll them. Totally uh, cheating. So that's for, that's for you roll D6s for armor value. Thanks, Cheater W. So I have here <laughs> okay. my, my directional dice. The same Where did thing. you get these? Did uh, these come in a set? I mean, like these, a, are, these are actually a special set? order. Uh, okay. I am a member of uh, NAF. Which is, what is the, that? Uh, oh, I would love to tell you what the anagram is, but it is effectively uh, it is effectively the Blood Bowl organization organization that kept things going. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I registered for it because, yeah. uh, well, uh, mob rules. Of course, we're going to be representing down oh. there in uh, fantastic LVO. And yeah. Everybody said they're going down to play 40k, and I read Blood Bowl and went, Pfft, I'm oh, playing. I, I Blood gotta Bowl. check to see if there's uh, any more slots. I bet when this drops, it's gonna. I. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it exactly. Everybody's stopping 40k. In fact, they've canceled the 40k. Oh, friendly okay. They just add more. The, yeah, to have more blood bowl. <laughs> more space. So those are my special okay. uh, custom order dice that they sent me Sweet. for signing up as a member. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look, I mean, they're they're pretty much identical in the grand scheme of things. Slightly slightly different there. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You know, and the arrows on the same side. A little so bit easier to see over, because I chose arrow. this color because I'm flip terrible. Flip over. Terrible it's human the being. okay. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like the, the they're all in the same spot. So the the. Knockdown dodges on the same spot and so on. So, cool. Yeah, they're all they're all the same. I mean, I haven't actually managed to roll these yet, but I can't <laughs> I can't wait. I'm planning on still using them, even though the new right. set comes with new dice. So the dice are sweet. Everything's sweet. Pollyanna here. Mental Everything is awesome. To the D16 because I don't have any of those. <laughs> so cards. This is I'm guessing this is your stack card, right? And yeah, or so other stuff. Yeah, with Blood Bowl, you're looking at stuff uh, they, like, again, uh -oh. they're, they're trying to make it easier for go. kids uh, to play. So these are simple, easy to understand play cards. They tell you the stats of. Uh, oh, play, okay, so we have player cards. Player cards. You should have orcs, four orcs, four uh, umis. Okay. So, Blitzer, Thrower, Catcher. So this is going to oh, tell so us. Oh, here we go. That's what the Blitzer looks like. Okay, so he has the, the big punchies, and then the lineman has the now, smaller punchies. He has single punchies. Okay. I don't know, maybe that's huh. accurate. All right. Um, okay, so then we have the the th the, the throwers who we thought oh, yeah. they were the same thing. Yeah, um, thrower catcher. That was not that wasn't even a question. But. <laughs> it looks like the stats are pretty much the same idea too. So you have the movement, the strength, the agility, the AV. A couple skills so to get you through it. Uh, and did, except did for the linemen who are terrible. <laughs> okay, there we go. None. Did you play the video game? I have played the video game. Cool. Uh, I loved how uh, how uh, true to the board game it was. It, that was uh, honestly, really cool. it really was. Uh, down to failing every roll that you need to actually <laughs> make, no matter what. All right, so here we have the Blitzer. So now this is the problem, I guess, with orcs. Like, unless you're an orc uh, player, like, people often don't know what the hell an orc is. Like, what's the difference between that gun and that gun? And so <laughs> maybe it's the nuances of the orc philosophy. Um, in, in so the here in the scheme of things, you know, at the... Uh, Blitz is probably your, your running guy. Of course, the thrower would be pretty easy to. Uh, Actually, with an orc, your uh, your running guy um, is your thrower. You, you didn't throw with an orc. That was a silly <laughs> That's move. Right. Uh, but you've got your black orc blockers, which are higher strength. Uh -huh. you know, and, and you look at the orcs versus the humans. So they have like the blitzer and then the super blitzer. Yeah. So let's compare lineman to lineman here. All right, just for a second. Mm -hmm. So the human lineman is faster. Same strength, same agility, one less armor. So that's the trade-off okay. in the grand scheme of things. Orcs are slow. Yeah. But they're, they're not there to win a game. They're very tough. <laughs> they're to beat they're stuff tough. up. They're, they can take a hit, in theory. Uh huh. You know. Who knows? Sweet. So. Okay. Oh, then we're on to special characters. I remember seeing these on the website. I think they kind of they advertise these a bit. Um, so yeah, Morgan Thorg, the giant ogre, classic, uh, classic player. Uh, 
for the uh, Reichland Reavers, obviously. That's why they had to include him in the game here. Yeah. I mean, though he's not a model here, because if he had been, people would be losing their mind over it, even more than <laughs> That's they are. That's right. They'd just be excited, it doesn't take so much. excited. <laughs> <laughs> so Mighty Zog, I remember him quite a bit. I do remember Oberwald. I don't remember Varg too much. I Actually, you, take it back. I think he was like, yeah, I didn't. So I'll, Did you I'll, play with him back in the day? No, I didn't use special characters. Okay. My players were special enough. <laughs> in a different kind of way. Yes, they are wonderful. All of them <laughs> special snowflakes in their own right uh, until they were dead. That's and adorable. And then they went to my necromantic team. So, now, from what I remember, like, when you played with these guys, they didn't advance. And that was probably one of the reasons right, like, I remember I didn't take they're, special They're preset characters. already. So you're looking at awesome they're good players to start with, but in the long run, if you're playing in a league, mm -hmm. um, they're great for a, a one-off game. Okay. You know, if you're playing a, a tournament game or something where everybody comes back at the end and you get to move on to the next round yeah. and play with the exact same team, they're pretty good for that. Okay. However, they're not good for a league because no, they don't advance, which means they're taking away yeah. skills from players that you could have advanced and, and, and change, you know, and, and they, get to make your own. Can they still take a, a I remember like you get niggling injuries and you could lose an eye and so on. Could they lose all that stuff? So Yeah, they so could. So they could, all they, they could do still, is they decrease could in value. They can only increase. decrease in value. Okay. It's like buying a car. <laughs> once, once you drive Mighty Zug off the lot, he's already lost uh, 3,000. He's depreciated. 3,000 gold. It's terrible. All right. Uh, now we're on to... Let's see, it looks like special plays. Special play? There's gr random events, and we have miscellaneous So random mayhem. events. What is, how many random events cards are there with, before you flip them? Or flip okay. them over, it's fine. Whatever, <laughs> it's fine. How, how many cards are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten. All right, this so my theory was off, because I was thinking it was the D8. You rolled okay. for special events. But I don't, I bet you they probably do have a chart, but I bet you you could use the cards In instead. place of a chart, you could use the cards. Yeah. Right. Well, I'd be willing to bet that this chart is probably in the uh, Death Zone su uh, Season 1 supplement. Oh, they, okay. You know, again, remember, they want to make this game for kids and make it, uh -huh. uh, you know, adults and kids alike. They want, to, you, they want to make it so you can sit down with your kids and teach them how to play Blood Bowl and uh -huh. let them win the first game. And in okay. the second game, beat them to a bloody pulp oh. because nothing teaches learning like losing at Blood Bowl. <laughs> it also teaches the kids not to hang out with their parents. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> so, so I remember, like, this was, like, at the beginning of the match. You, you've rolled to find out if there was an event or something like that, right? I believe so, but I haven't actually seen those cards as you haven't shown them to me yet, so I don't actually know they what's on like them. They look like this, Dave. So I, they I, look like I, that. See, I don't know the what they actually <laughs> say, Ted. They could, uh, they could be anything uh, in the grand scheme things, hometown fans. It was like yeah, Heckler, these, the, the, Honestly, Boy. these look like uh, kickoff uh, so events, or they could be random events. It could be something that you actually roll on a table okay. that says, now pick, draw a random event card. So here we have miscellaneous well. mayhem. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten as well. Okay. Uh, so we have bad habits, Iron Man, kid gloves, blackmail, knuckle dusters, magic sponge, <laughs> ego trip. I like that they kind of stuck with a sense of humor with this. I heard that they were going to kind of bring some of that back. Blood Bowl has always been a funny game, in my opinion. I mean, yeah. you've got it's just it's all about joking. I mean, look at the announcers, Bob and Jim. They're oh, just yeah. they are just literally they're not regular NFL announcers or <laughs> they, they're just there to make jokes and, and be funny. So, kind of reminds me so of like this is awesome. <laughs> this, is, this is fantastic. You've got uh, Get Em Lads uh, makes makes quite familiar. Uh, mm -hmm. But but these are special play. From, so from what I understand, these are something that you actually pick up at the beginning of the game and kind of oh. hold in your hand. Oh, okay. But I'm not exactly sure Was on that, that in the earlier editions? No. Oh, okay. So they, we are changing things Yeah, up they're changing bit. things a little bit. That's but good. For the most part, the actual gameplay rules are remaining completely the same. Okay. So, Fantastic. That's a, those are awesome. So what else we got? Let's not go too far into too much detail with this, but take a flip through the book and find out what's going on. A lot of shrink wrap here. Right. So for all us shrink wrap huffers. Yeah, give me. Um, <laughs> go ahead and just open that up. I just I need to get my camera take out. Take pictures of all so the I can pages. Flip slowly so I can take all the pictures. Oh, hello, of it. internet. <laughs> <laughs> for for my for home for for home use. Uh, so I have you know when the other backwards, so when the actual know. websites let me down at night. So um, we have a painting guide. This is kind of fresh. Yeah, Assembly painting guide. guide. You know what? It's awesome. They put in a painting guide, but uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna paint it my own way anyway. Well, so that's, it's that's like, fine. It's, it's not. It just teaches you how to paint, Dave. It's, it's great. You know, <laughs> after I buy the box set and give these two teams to my kids because I don't like either of them, oh. uh, they can paint. Oh, <laughs> you're supposed to say you love them. We're I, trying to showcase you know this. I love the aesthetic and the way they look. 
yeah. on the negative side, oh, I look prefer at this. to play other stuff. What do you got? What do you got? We, we have, uh, who's that, Jim or is that Bob? I can't remember. Was it Bob uh, that was the? That is, well, uh, who's Oh, Bob's locker was, I was going to say, so who's he Jim. talking to? Because I couldn't tell you the difference between yeah. the two of them. So we have the announcers. Like, I remember Throughout that was like a, a feature was like on the side. Oh, yeah, they always, the talking, yeah, about always talking about stuff. Talking about stats and cracking wise is because one is a necromant, uh, a vampire, and the other is an ogre one. And we always talk about, he will make a great addition to the blank team later on. That's right. If he doesn't make this armor save. That's Oops, great. He's so, dead. <laughs> so he gives a little bit of flavor while we're going through their games. And I remember there was some back uh, background too. They were talking about like the uh, uh, the politics of uh, uh, Blood Bowl too. And, uh, oh, don't get me started on the politics. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Nuffle existed for a reason. All right. <laughs> so we have our cheat sheets. That's good. Cheat sheets are good. Um, what do we got here? Sequence of yeah, play. Yeah. So sequence of play. So let's see if we got. Uh, is there a table here? Move blitz. Let's see. Starting. How about how about oh, starting? There's so there's a kickoff table, like I said. Okay. So you roll on that. So it's not one of those. Those cards aren't that. Uh, mm -hmm. You got your injury table, which I'm sure if you and I play a game later, you'll be rolling on a lot. Um, <laughs> is, uh, <good. laughs> okay. So Do you want it. you want weather? It's uh, it's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, weather's good weather, for weather's you. Weather's good. Um, but so. that, that would like uh, increase the, the how hard it was to pick up a ball or throw or something or, like that. Or, or it could increase other stuff such as, uh, you know, fainting. Your players could faint from heat. Oh, uh, and, and okay. Negative one on passing. You've got uh, perfect blood bowl weather, which is every weather in that <laughs> Okay. So. All right. This is, this is something I've been looking forward to. The board. I'm going to put this off to the side for a second. Um, You've been looking forward to the board? I have, because I mean, so I love the models, I, but... Don't get me wrong, I love the board, but three quarters of the fun for me were, were modeling up my custom teams and oh, doing sure. all this stuff and, and making my own pitch, which I, even though we started as kids and neither one of us actually <laughs> finished, as an adult, I did manage to finish one. Oh, that's great. It only took 20 years. <laughs> it, uh... Oh, yes. man, you Shut are up. kidding. Shut up, you jerk. <laughs> um, this so, is a beast. Look at this thing. This is probably twice the size of the one we had as kids. It's, you think? You know, it, it's actually not. Um, it's not? So you're looking at slightly larger in the grand scheme of things. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I mean, it's it just, just the way it is. Because what was, I it think. It seems dramatically larger because it, it really is. Yeah. After you put the pitches down next to it and whatnot. Okay. So you're looking at, you know. That's the base. It fits nicely. If you got the model on there, you got plenty of good what space. Was it? it was like, was it twenty one? It's it, it goes to the old pitch goes to uh, about. Uh, so there's twenty six squares. And I remember be it being one, two, roughly three, four, an five, inch per six, square. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, thirteen. And so it should be thirteen long. Mm -hmm. And then four and what is that? Eight. One, two, yeah. three, four. So, so, four, so this, four, four, and seven. But I would say like this half is probably more than a foot, roughly. So, so it, it, it's grown a little bit. But what is a foot, roughly that? So you might have added an extra ten percent. It's uh, from from everything that I've read, it, it's approximately this much bigger in the grand scheme of things, okay. lengthwise, okay. completely from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Not just each individual side is that much. I don't know if anybody can okay. see that. Or I just want to see. So uh, <laughs> he looks on there. <laughs> he looks tiny in the the camera it's it's terrible but i mean in the grand scheme of things you know you've got okay. uh it, it still fits and yeah. uh, so you know don't despair people that already have teams uh, mm -hmm. gorgeously painted um oh i have to point this out um this is there's the uh little goblin uh right here i think it's the the model from uh, see now i i actually the, consider the that uh i consider that a grot not a goblin homie oh okay look at the size of it it's tiny yeah it's tiny Oh, it's a nobbler. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Then we have like a secret hatch over here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, this this is kind of fun. This is fun. The it's board, not like it's the old the blast or the the foam one, but I think no, the foam one was cool, really the, cool. The old. But foam it was one. also somewhat hard to keep your models upright at times. It, it, it was the old <laughs> foam one though was actually smaller than the next generation board. Oh really? So yeah. It, okay. It, it was uh, the the squares themselves were also smaller. So okay. It was one of those things cool. where it was Bring a box out here. I don't. We don't have room. You. What's on the other side though, Ted? Oh, you know I didn't even look. All right. Oh man, so, I didn't even see that. Holy cow! Oh yeah, dude. They have. They really went out. All this out. is great. Dude. Feel like playing as uh, orcs at home. Bam! There you go. Wow. Gorgeous. And and this pitch, completely uh -huh. different and awesome looking in my opinion. Yeah. I think it should come this with is some more sort of typical on the other terrain. Side. Yeah, the other side is totally traditional. You look. There's <laughs> your little goblin again. <laughs> okay. I oh, there's another one over here. Oh wow. That's the same guy. <laughs> Slightly different. Yeah. He's different. He is flipped. He's flipped. 
Oh, his hand is a little bit closer to his head on this side. So they did tweak it a little bit. That's cool. Plus that one's got uh, we have red a, underwear, a and this one ring. has... Uh, uh, <laughs> Made you look. Look at you know what I like about this side of the yeah. board a little bit better, Ted. And this kind of actually excites me is that they really put a lot more aesthetic in it to make it seem like this is where the home field where the Reichling Reavers and and the um, gouged eye gouged yeah. eye orcs that come with uh -huh. the set played. I mean, you've got armor pads all yeah. over the place and stuff like that. And on the other side, they just don't. Uh, well, it, I think it's it, like they're it's, kind it, of there, but it's just not nearly as brutal. It's, it, maybe it's the same thing in the grand. I think it has like the retro just, feel. Like this is just, a retro feel. Yeah, and, and the other side just looks more gruesome. Like uh -huh. it, it just to me, and it just embodies what oh, blood yeah. is. It's like, okay, like yeah, there's here's a field. blood stain. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> it's fine. It's blood bowl. Gosh, <laughs> we get it. There's some goblin or grots that are dead that fell out of the stands. Oh. <laughs> Got thrown out. I, I love it. Swallowed teammate, whatever the, the skill was the trolls have. The, all right, let's get let's some, see let's the other go. stuff. All right, so coming back up. Okay. We have. Nope, that's the wrong side. <laughs> no, maybe it's the right side. What did you do? Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, so so what are these, Ted? Cards? I don't know. Cards oh, what is, I've never Can seen we those. Did you get to before. those? Oh. <laughs> no. All right, more all shrink right. wrap. You got this? Oh. I mean, I, I know you happen to have those fingernails. I don't. <laughs> While you're opening that, I'm going to go ahead and show this. Because okay. it'll just be brief. Obviously, Games Workshop, amazing with, some, with the stuff they're doing with their transfers uh -huh. now. These, you've got numbers. I'm going to show it upside down. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you've got the Gouge Die and the Reckon Reavers. Uh -huh. uh, logos, just white, black, however you feel like painting your team. If you don't want to paint them like that, you can do whatever you want. This stuff is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love the stuff that GW is putting out these days. It's just yeah. really good quality stuff. I couldn't imagine that anybody would ever not want to buy something directly from GW, but instead go and buy something from a different place and maybe they were where they were doing something else. That would be just terrible. There's something brown right there. I don't it's know terrible. what just happened. What? You know, it, and I'm stoked that you'll be yeah. able to buy this at Tier 1 Cards and Games. You know, one, one of the things that I would recommend, I think, like, when you, if you do, because um, for the longest time, like, I was a total snob about uh, transfers. Like, I just wouldn't use transfers. I don't know, you don't use a lot of transfers. Um, but I think like what I have been doing is there was I think Duncan off the uh, TV or the, the uh, Warhammer TV Warhammer TV was you know he says like put down like a layer of art code and then put your transfer on top of that and then put your transfer like get more art code on it. Really, I, I haven't I've, seen that video. Is that when the one does he recommend you thin your paints? Because I think that's I don't know. I think that's important. Only on days that end with Y. Ah. So, like, but I think like that's been really helpful. I think like in kind of smoothing things over and like not having them peel up and stuff. So I've actually really been enjoying that. I've been. Using, have you like, been using transfers on on anything else? Yes, yeah, actually I, mean, I do. Because I, I mean I. I've, I've gone back to like using transfers because it's just like it looks so much cleaner. Like I'm, I feel like I'm a decent painter, but I'm not that good to where I can get like the small crisp. I'm doing iron hands for my 40k army and just like the I'm mean, like the little details. Like if you were trying to do some of these like little griffin heads, like getting that tongue in there just. just I mean right, I guess like, speak for yourself. I mean. That? I, I, you know what? I can go grab a model that has an amazingly hand-painted logo on it if you want. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Here we have the dugout. Those are the those are the dugouts. Or um, what do they call them in Blood Bowl? Is it the dugout? No, it's called the dugout. Okay. So I you've got a baseball so or you've got your uh, reroll counters here. Okay. Okay. Maybe no score. Score okay. reroll. So these look like okay. possibly yeah. rerolls down here, maybe. And this is your turn, way. right? You know, and it's, it really is going to go either way. You can do whatever you want. I remember, like, something. part of the thing was, like, because this is your turn counter, right? So this is your um, your score, probably. Then this is your turn counter. And, like, if you didn't move your turn counter up, that was a technicality, The wasn't illegal it? procedure. And this oh, yeah. is actually where we had it slated to have Nate come running in and throw a, a yellow flag while wearing a ref hat. Uh, and, the and, and a bikini. But instead, he opted to leave. And so we forgot to tell him to do that. Yeah, and he didn't know he was <laughs> supposed to do that. So, uh, so yeah, if you didn't move it, you got the illegal procedure, which uh, of course meant your turn was over. And oh, that's right. Shame on you for breaking yeah. the rules, you cheater, cheater, cheater. <laughs> However, in the, from what I understand in this next version, um, they have uh, alleviated that rule, which is sad. Because I know. I mean, there was nothing really, better like, than the busting game, somebody for that. It was, yeah. All right. So I figured it out. As long as I make these 17 moves perfectly, I'm gonna to win the game. It's the last turn. I've got this. Uh -huh. I've been planning it for all turn. I got it. You guys on the end zone, he's moving down. He's moving down. He's one square away and he's holding it. He's like, I'm going to make it. I've made all these rolls. 16 different rolls uh -huh. as long as I didn't roll one. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Legal procedure. What? Yeah, your turn's over. 
Oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> this like, is where I, if I were you, I'd edit in a table flip. You okay. Know, just because that's exactly flip. What, there we go. That's there exactly we what I would flip. Do. I would flip it like right my now. CGI so, flip. But we're streaming live as well, so oh, obviously okay. that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here are the orcs. The big yeah, so chunky rocks for your. Whichever you feel like. If you're playing at the humans, you oh can now use the, the orc dugout or the human dugout, or or you could just get cheesy and say, "I'm playing orcs, so I'm These just going to use the best. Oh, look at the bone saw. <laughs> they're so brutal. Come on, you got to have the docs got it. The apothecary is saving you somehow oh so you have the uh, the grot or the the goblin in there repeat it uh, over again yeah a <laughs> little bit a little bit like sad. I, you know what i'm pretty excited about the game in the grand scheme of things but i'm a little bit sad about some of the little aesthetics that they just have repeated you know it's, yeah i i get you know what oh it's hard to do graphic design but i mean somebody had to draw that and they just copied it which means they only paid him for one instead of three isn't that how it works <laughs> you you know art is expensive you should know right we're right? gonna advocate yeah. every single grot i don't know anything about their pay structure but they need to be paid I guarantee Actually you that somebody is not, then. especially after Brexit, somebody is not able to uh, afford to feed their, their cats uh, because yeah, GW I, copied Grotz. I think it's kind of fun. I think like the first couple times it looked kind of cheesy. Like, oh, come on, really? That was a little cheap. You could have just like, but now that we're seeing it so often, like it really does feel like a little mascot, like the dead Grot or Goblin. You're, you're just feeling goblin. numb about it? What's that? You're just feeling numb no, about no. it? No, no, I, I think like... I'm still offended. Oh. Grot lives matter too, Ted. <laughs> they well, matter a lot. I, I, it's I, amazing. I, I just have like, the, I have this philosophy, it's called the, what I call the ABBA effect, where like, something is dumb, 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 and then if it keeps like, it's still dumb, after a while it becomes awesome. You know what, amazing. we're, like we're getting ABBA, slightly like, so off terrible. topic. I, I, I don't want to debate this <laughs> to you, Ted, Okay. but uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if you ever besmirch ABBA again, <laughs> there is a VW bug that will be resting with the fishes. Oh, my bug. Oh man, this is my favorite. GW plastic bags. Well, you want to have plastic bags so you can keep all your counters and tokens and, and, yeah, and, and drugs. Footballs and stuff. <laughs> and you know, here we have a little code thing, I okay. guess, for, uh, for a discount off of the online game. But let's be honest, I, if you're buying this, you've yeah. got friends that are going to play it. And if you don't have friends that are going to play it, buying this in order to get the code is kind of a little bit uh, on the backwards side. Although I want to say, I do have it on PS4. GW, please, please give me PS4. I, I mean, I guess I already have it, but give me in-game stuff for PS4. <laughs> Is that not, uh, uh, what, so what, what do we have it's here? It's a PC so, for off Steam. I mean, I can't read it. It's in Britain. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, 50% de reduce your own. I don't know what yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. It looks like we get an exclusive. I don't know. Uh, we we should have brought. We should have brought John down here. He could have translated. He's he almost speaks uh, British, uh, given that he's from Canada, right? <laughs> yeah, right. They're, they're Canadian. <laughs> so or Scotland that. or whatever Scotland, part of uh, Canada is Scotland from, is. Scotland's from. <laughs> Wales. Well, knows. that's it. I, I I think I'm really excited about this. You're really oh, excited. Oh man, about I can't it? wait. And you I know what? I see. Like I'm, I'm. I know that we're gonna have so many arguments because one of us is gonna think that like, hey, the rules are this way, and it's gonna be like the old edition. Like how many times do we play like oh. 40k or whatever dude like, i argue with no, you that's, in 40k you're oh, that's you, third edition, that's, sorry. what you can't assault and shoot in the same turn it's <laughs> insane you either assaulting or shooting what are you doing all right what edition are we playing again <laughs> the disclaimer ahead of time <laughs> all right well thanks a lot for joining us uh thanks a lot dave i really oh, appreciate you doing i had a great this. time and this to yeah. me was uh amazing because um, uh, i remember like when you got back into the hobby uh relatively recently you took a, a bit of a break like blood bowl was it was like 40k 40k blood bowl 40k 40k blood bowl and then when you heard that this was coming out it was like you, you have no idea it was your dream it was somebody true. somebody was like yeah you know it's blood bowl i could do that i was like fight me in real life <laughs> it's blood bowl you will play it and you'll enjoy it I've got Tana convinced that he should never play me in this game because he plays me in Kill Team and uh, loses a lot. Yeah. And, and I feel bad about that, but I play Kill Team competitively to win. I suck <laughs> at regular 40k. I built an Two days ago, I was talking to him who said that exactly that. <laughs> so like, you were if, you thought, if you thought you should not play me in Blood Bowl, we should, I should probably <laughs> not even buy this game. Grand scheme of things, I should just sit in the sidelines and watch like a Coke feed. Yeah. Just like, oh, Yelling at people when they... <laughs> You didn't, what are you doing? Box up, box up! Get in the box, throw the ball! No! No, push the ogre out of the way first. Ah! Table flip. Aww. All right, it's well for tier one and mob rules, uh, I've been Ted. Uh, I have been Dave. For a limited time only. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, great times.